What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Muppet, it's Scott here and very excited to present you a brand new Automatron DLC Fallout 4 guide. This guide is all about how to get the Tesla Power Armor and the Tesla Rifle. After you have completed the Mechanical Menace and a new threat quests, you will get the quest Headhunting. Now just before I tell you any more, I will say this has slight spoilers in it. I'm not going to talk about anything in the storyline, but uh, the locations and some of the characters will be mentioned. So this quest Headhunting will take you to Fort Hagen's Satellite Array. Here is a big fortress of Rust Devils which are raiders and you need to shoot your way all through here. And and just follow the path on screen. It's very easy and straightforward to follow. Once you get to your quest target, which is finding Jezebel, you'll get her and you can also defeat Ahab, but then you can follow this path here and fight your way through all the robots and raiders and it's rather easy to get through, although do watch out for the turrets. But quite simply, after you've followed your way up these stairs and through the rooms, there is one final room which is across this bridge which has a character called Ivy. Ivy is a raider in the full set of T-60 power armor and is also accompanied by an Assaultron Gorgon, though I'm not sure if that's the same for everyone. However, when you finally manage to kill Ivy, you will find that her arm and torso pieces are actually called Tesla T-60 armor, and these are unique pieces which increase energy damage. This means your energy weapons and electrical effects on melee weapons will do more damage. And this is very helpful for the weapon that she's actually wielding, which is the unique Tesla rifle. This is the big electric gun we saw in all the trailers and this Tesla rifle can be upgraded with various enhancements. It starts off with the semi-automatic barrel but you can upgrade it to an automatic barrel, a charging barrel and a charging shotgun barrel and there's also a charging lob barrel which makes it sort of like this trap thing that falls on the ground but in my opinion my favorites is the automatic barrel because it just it just feels a lot better and it chains between enemies a lot more often. The Tesla rifle's unique effect is that it fires an electrical disc charge that arcs between targets. Now this is pretty useful and it's cool for when you're taking out groups of ghouls or robots that are all clustered together and sometimes it works well with raiders but uh, for the most of the time it's just a high damage cool electric lightning gun. So, so that's basically it. That's how to get it. Very straightforward and you really shouldn't miss it unless you just refuse to loot Ivy. Anyways that's all from me. I'll see you very soon with another guide for the Automatron DLC so I suggest subscribing. Like the video if it helped and I will We'll see you around next time.